My yeah. daughter Lauren would often come to work with me at nights and weekends uh, because we were all so dedicated. There wasn't a time when we weren't working. <laughs> so she liked to play astronaut. And the way the astronaut would select things on the disky, she would be playing like she was the astronaut. I remember one time when her simulation crashed and I thought, oh my God, how did that happen? And we checked it out and she had done something the astronaut would never supposed to do because once you lift off pre-launch, uh, you're now on the way. She selected P01, which was the pre-launch program, uh, during mid-course, during flight. Went back and looked at the listing and sure enough, um, that would be possible. So I brought it to the people, <laughs> whoever was involved, saying, this is amazing, look what happened. And I don't know if, which people at NASA or, or MIT said, uh, well, it's never going to happen because the astronauts are so well trained. Uh, it's just not going to happen. I said, but what if it does happen? It's kind of like my whole um, emphasis was always what if, right? So I wrote a program note because that becomes part of the spec. So the astronaut knows it's there, they can find it. And the program note said simply, do not select P01 during flight. Well, the very next flight, Apollo 8, that's exactly what happened. After that, they said, yes, Margaret, you can put that change in there. So it, is, it, it did get in there for the very next mission.